since 7 o'clock, I'll call the meeting to order. It's a regular scheduled meeting of the Town of Berlin Development Review Board. Uh, we have three applications before us tonight. Um, I'm Bob Wernick. I'm the chair. On my left is Carla Weasel. She's uh, vice chair. Uh, on the screen, we have with us uh, two other board members, um, Polly Murphy and John Fedrich. And uh, we also have our recording secretary, Carla Preston, and our zoning administrator, Tom Badowski. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'm going to ask people to go around the room and starting on my left and introduce themselves. John, that's you. Start with me? Yes. Um, my name is John Petrosky. I work for Trudell Consulting Engineers, and I'm here representing the applicant for uh, the Brad Slayton subdivision. Thank you. Uh, Matthew Hebert, I'm the um, purchaser of the, the subdivided lot. Um, that's good. Chip with you, here for the next day. <laughs> Richard Tatro, I'm here on the subdivision for the Slaytons. Say it louder. I'm here on the subdivision for the Slaytons lot. Okay. I bought, I bought against it. Marla Carlu, I reside with Richard, so how do you spell your name? I'm sorry. Oh, that's a good question. I signed in. It'd be easier to look at it, probably. Oh. L a r a l e a. Carlu, C u r a v. Oh, I'll check the thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> oh, Julie's like, I'm my dad's bride, and I'm just trying to run in case I get Very good. Um, so, what I'm going to do before we start is that we have three applications before us tonight. Uh, um, what I want to do is swear in everybody that intends to give testimony on either one of the applications. Um, please raise your right hand. Um, no, you're not doing it. Just only if you intend to give testimony. Uh, swear to tell the truth, none but the truth, the matters before this board tonight under penalties of perjury. I do. I do. Thank you. Uh, so, our first application is. Um, uh, by Brad Slayton um, for a sketch plan and final plan review of a minor two lot subdivision. And um, Mr. Chair, this is my, the continuation. This is, uh, yeah, thank you. This is a continuation of um, a former hearing. Uh, the applicant has gone back and um, revised plans and is prepared to discuss the revised plans in light of this testimony given last time. So, who's going to take the lead here? I can give a quick overview if you want. Yeah. So um, Trudell Consulting Engineers did both the survey work and the septic design. So I'll start with the septic system since I'm a sanitary engineer. Um, the project proposes a drilled well for water supply. And um, I was actually on site doing the soil testing and we found a small conventional area for in-ground septic. It's, uh, it's a sandy sandy um, soil up there and the home is being placed in between uh, the Velcro lines and the GMP lines. It's approximately a four and a half acre lot, 4.64 to be exact. And then the remaining land will be uh, about 30 acres. Um, for the subdivision, um, some of the changes to the plans that you last saw was we upgraded the uh, easement from Junction Road actually all the way up to lot two with a 50 foot right of way. Uh, didn't need to go that far. It needed to at least go to the intersection, but if someday in the future they ever further subdivide, it just made sense to take care of the right of way now. So we show a, a 50 foot right of way all the way up to the lot two boundary line. There's access to the cemetery. Um, there is some uh, road widening proposed. Uh, we did on the uh, septic plan, sorry to switch back and forth, we did expand the topo. There was questions about drainage and grades and how, how the um, driveway would work. So the site is, is existing. The roads mostly existed, heavily vegetated, well established. And uh, I believe you had represented to me the widening will probably just be 
three feet on each side. Yeah, you're not gonna. It needs to be wide of six feet. So we keep the crown on the road and just widen on each shoulder. Um, there's already a shoulder there, so I don't know exactly. I think the requirement is 20 feet or 22 feet. Yeah. 22 feet. 22 so, feet is yeah. the town standard. So uh, we'll widen on each side. That will help minimize the impact of, uh, of any existing vegetation. It will allow us to maintain the roadside ditches and culverts. We're not proposing any changes to the current drainage system. Where the water's flowing, it will continue to flow. Did you prepare a cross section at all, what you propose? No, um, not yet. Uh, I don't think it's on my details. It'll be... Uh, I didn't see the details. Yeah, it'll be, you know, 12, uh, 12 inches of gravel and probably uh, six inches of pressure run uh, with road fabric. Again, the town standard is pretty specific with regard to that. Uh, if I see those, we'll, we'll match that, but it's, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be widening, so I guess we'll have to evaluate um, whether there's adequate sub-base in the existing section. We might have to raise it up to meet those standards. Don't, don't know until we dig it up. But that's something, um, if it's important to verify, we could, as a condition of approval, we could um, have me certify that the road met the standards when we're done. That's typically what we have done. i got to do that for the septic anyway. So I think um, for this board, you probably don't need to provide a design of the road, but for the select board who's going to be adopting the town roads, they'll, they'll need to see that. Yeah. Well, we'll... Uh, so ultimately, you're going to have to prepare it. I'll probably use your detail and just edit mine to match it. Um, and then we'll have to have some notes that just say we've got to adjust as needed to, for example, if there's only eight inches of gravel out there, we have to add more. <laughs> and also, what is the substrate? You know, is it ledge or is it decent grade well drained soil or what is it? Yeah, it's good. Um, there's a good pull off there right off of Junction Road, so there's a lot of space to, you know, for bigger trucks to stage and then come up the road. And that first Y is almost like a hammerhead, so it gives trucks the ability to turn around. Uh, and then the remaining run to Matt's lot would just be uh, probably 12 foot wide or 14 foot wide driveway. Yeah, I think 14 is what we're, we're And it at. exists now. It, it's currently in already, yeah. Yeah, it was, we walked up it the day you started the project and it was, it was overgrown and. It's been opened up now and stone, stone gravel base put in, so you can drive all the way up in there now. Okay. Um, I. I don't have a lot more to add. Um, I really want to answer questions if there is any additional questions. Um, oh, I think the other piece of evidence is that Matt dropped off the uh, the uh, road maintenance road maintenance agreement. So that will have to be established uh, when he enters into the final purchase. The um, the staff Excuse me, this is. You look at the excuse me, this is. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I just wanted to verify who was speaking. Uh, John Petrosky with Trudell Consulting oh. Engineers. Okay. And Thank I'm, you, John. You're welcome. Uh, the only thing I I want to add one more thing is the water wastewater permit that we need from the state. Yeah. We haven't applied for that yet because Matt hasn't made the final purchase yet. So once he buys it, um, we'll submit the plans. We well, I was understanding that Matt gave us last time. He was not going to apply for it until he had uh, property in hand. Yeah, property yeah. in hand. Yep. And which is okay because we'll probably simply condition our permit on your satisfactory receiving the permit from the state for that be uh, fine. water and wastewater. So that, that may not be necessary with this permit because you could subdivide raw land, but any building permit, it would be a requirement yeah, a good of point. any building good point. permit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And we so will need a building permit before it this house. Really. So yeah, it's not a question for a building permit, it's a question for Correct. a subdivision. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Um, the, um, we had questions about the right of way. You provide us with a building envelope that's probably larger than it needed to be. Well, we show the town setbacks, and that's the SB dashed line around the interior of the lot, 
but it, from a practical standpoint, the building envelope is the shaded area yeah. because we can't build under the power line easements. And um, and then the other question we had was about right of ways. There was a question about whether or not Green Mountain Power had a right of way on this road. Um, we did the deed research. And I don't believe we know to right away. I thought there was discussion that they come in and manage their lines from some other uh, some other point. Do you know more on that, Matt? Uh, You've talked to them. Velco had a right of has a right of way um, on the existing there, road. On there, well, no. Um, in the parcel. Yeah, Velco has a right of way through here. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'm talking about the road. Um, the road here. Um, Green Mountain Power used it to access theirs, but there's no written. We, we didn't find a written right away. All right. Well, that's not uncommon. Uh, you know, uh, we, we see Velcro and Green, Green Mountain Power on this using roads with permission, usually. Yeah. Um, sometimes not always. <laughs> I, I would imagine that there wouldn't be any issue with them using this road. Anyway, you're, no. you're not aware of any easements. No. Nope. Uh, and we have no stake in that. I just. Yeah, just the, the documents did not talk about it. So no, I was surprised, but we didn't we didn't see any. Uh, and the provided a fifty foot right of way all the way to the property number two, lot number two. Correct. Um, the uh, the town road standards really only need to be met to where you have suddenly less than three um, uh, lots served. So, so to, the to the junction. Junction with a drive to. Um, um, the uh, property to uh, the, uh, Blanchett. Uh, you, you don't need to make those improvements, except for we talked about last time that you may want it in the future to make further sub subdivision. Yeah, and, and that's that's why we proposed the the 50 foot right of way all the way up through. Well, it's so good, good in the future that. you've got it. It's road just, standards only be met, need to be met to the the, the road construction standards. Right. Uh, town road standards. The portion that needs to be a meet the town road standards only needs to go to the Blanchett Drive. Although, again, you may want to think ahead. I did notice that the grades probably exceed 15% up through there. Am I right about that? They're closer to 10%. I think uh, the final run up uh, after you cross into lot two, it's, it's, there's a steep section. Under, under the Green Mountain power lines after that curve where it kind of straightens out, it gets a little steeper right there. It might be closer to the 12. Well, those are two foot contours, right? Uh, these are two footers and I pulled in LIDAR. So we topoed all of this and this is lidar okay so but if i if i scale that off you're scaling 40 percent um i i've driven the, the to the junction point isn't 14 percent no not the junction point but beyond that oh I, that doesn't surprise me yeah okay yeah the junction point is relatively level is it not yes that's what i excuse me john for sake of people here, can you just explain what LIDAR is? So um, uh, we, uh, we conducted a topographic survey and we take spot shots and elevations and, and develop contour maps. In areas that we don't shoot the topo, maybe it's not as critical, we'll take information from the state grid and they do, you know, shots from above and they develop contours that are less accurate but reasonable we found that they actually matched in pretty good and we refer to that as lidar it's a public platform where yeah. where you can get information yeah. Yeah. Uh, this what, plus this, or minus 10 feet i don't know what it's plus it matched in pretty good so yeah, yeah. you know we tie every job we do now we tie into the state grid so we t tie into the natural resource maps we know if there's mapped endangered species or wetlands which there isn't here um, in the development zone, but um, we are tied into the state grid on this project. I'm just reviewing our minutes of the last meeting quickly. See if we've left, lost anything here. Does anybody from the board have questions? I don't think so. Tom, did you have anything? 
No, it's just that I will. I received the uh, uh, road maintenance agreement today. I'll send that out to the to the rest of the board electronically. You'll have it. This is a separate agreement. Is this a? Uh, I've not had a chance to look at this. Is this a, a part of a deed, or is this, is a? Uh... Um, it, it's just because it's it's supposed to be a private road at this point. Right, but is it's, this a part of the deeds, or is this going? This agreement going to be part of the deeds, or is it going to be just a agreement that the property owners sign? It's just going to be an agreement that the property owners are all signing, agreeing on. You, you should have that recorded here then at the town. Okay. You may think about provisions for other uh, members of this association. I mean, you, you've, you've made the easement 50 foot to, to uh, facilitate any future subdivisions. I would think that they would then join this as well. Yeah. This, so. Does the town want to join? No. <laughs> town cemetery. <laughs> I noticed that. It's. Uh, I don't think there's much activity ever there, though. <laughs> no, Brad. Brad said once or twice a year somebody might come up, but that's that's it's about rare. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very old cemetery. I like, um, I like your no name. Your suggested name for the road. Actually, uh, Don came up with that name, and and, and Don recommended the owner of the lot above recommended it be called Colby Road because the cemetery is Colby Cemetery and it makes perfect sense so it does C-O-L-B-Y yeah have you requested that from the select board already no no, no that's that's after all this okay um, if there are no other questions anybody have anybody here uh, interested in this application have questions for us I'm just concerned about <coughs> I have spring that's actually on Brad's land that I have a deed of railway to. And I just want to make sure that this doesn't get affected in any way. I mean, you're going to be, by the looks of the plans, you're going to be... For our, for our recording secretary, just announce who you are, I'm please. sorry, Richard Tatro. Um, by the looks of the prints, it's going to be a ways away from it. And I just want to make sure no drainage or nothing goes into that. Richard, could you tell me where that spring is approximately? Well, if you look down at the bottom of my house is... Richard, in the don't come up here and do it. We don't right. know where your house is at. <laughs> I didn't. Get, I didn't get your last name, so I was trying to figure out. <laughs> you one of these lots? You want to put that down so the. Yep. There you go. Um, this, this one. They are this one right here. Table. And where do you think the spring is? The spring sits up in here. It's just on the other side of the tower, just on the other side. Okay. It's 145 feet from the corner of the lot up. Corner. 145 feet? Yeah. Okay, so I saw a scale here. Um, can I borrow your scale for a sec? <coughs> so, um, I think that's outside of our. Yeah, I believe it's outside of yours. Yeah. 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 I just want to make sure it's scale. Yeah. It is inches. I'd be more worried about the wastewater, but it looks yeah. like it. So that your, oh, I think it's 145. You're um, in excess of 500 feet from the septic system, so you meet the setbacks. Um, yeah. We'll probably add that to our plans because um, yep. the wastewater permit was supposed to show surrounding uh, springs and wells. But if, if he's outside of the 500 foot radius, which he is, I just measured it. It's uh, it's not yeah. it's not no. it's not in the shield. Do you have an easement for that? I do. Actually, Brad gave me one years ago, and I can't find that one, but it's in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. 1963. Probably need to update the plan to reflect that. Absolutely. That's what he was just saying. Is this an uh, extra copy? This is my copy, but they have it in here. It's, um, I can make a copy for you. Yeah. Okay, great. So, yeah, we. Um, I think we should absolutely add that to the plan. But it's not. It's not within the Kona influence. Do you need that one? Or? No, yeah. that's just the top one to mention it right away. Okay. 
Thank you. Glad you brought that up. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, like I said, I, I was pretty sure it was out of the right way, but I just wanted to make sure that um, it was noted that it was on Brad's land and it was there. Good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Um, if there are no other questions by board members or zoning administrator, I, there was several conditions that was discussed uh, before they leave. I think can we just reiterate what those conditions were? Um, well, the conditions are that they uh, receive approval from the site board for the private road. Uh, that will be a condition of this permit. Uh, also, the water and the wastewater permit from the state will be a condition of this permit. Um, I forget anything. Uh, record the road maintenance agreement. They're going to update the this plat with Mr. Tatro's. Yes. Update uh, the plat to reflect Mr. Tatro's information. And um, third-party certification that the road was constructed to town standards. Did you say that? I did not say that, but uh, that's that is, yeah. Which won't happen until spring now. So can I just clarify, because you said the wastewater permit didn't have to be for the subdivision, and now you're saying it does, it's Yeah, you, I keep forgetting that. It does not have to be for the subdivision. Uh, I, I, we, I suggest we make it a condition that prior to uh, uh, issuing a building permit that they will need to receive. It's not. It won't hurt us if you have it as a condition, because we're absolutely yeah, getting it. I, I understand. You're, you're, you already got the solution. Get the beef in the front. Update plat. So I have five. Anything else, Polly? No. John? Tom, we got it all today? John, you mentioned five. I have four. Can you read your, your five? Receive approval from the select board for the road. Yeah. Record the road maintenance agreement. Get a WW permit. Certify to the road standards. And update the plat with the spring. Yeah. UW permit. Okay. Yep. Yep. Very good. If there is nothing else, if that's, um, we understand that, uh, I entertain a motion to uh, close the one horses hearing. So moved. Second. Motion was made uh, by Carlos, seconded by John. Uh, is there a discussion on that motion? All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye or raising your hands. Aye. 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 And we will be there to close the hearing. Thank you. Thank gentlemen. you. You guys will deliberate later. We'll deliberate afterwards, and then our results of our deliberation will be forthcoming in our findings. And we should have in writing. Thank you. Yep, it's one o'clock. Have a good night. Thanks. Thank you, John. Happy holidays. Good, how are you doing? Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's been right up the rainies this time. There we go. <laughs> they help a lot now, don't they? So <laughs> good. Uh, we got the estate one first, right? Uh, the Yes, stay. Do you want to testify to anything before us tonight? You, you were not here when I swore to you. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's great. Uh, Okay, Chip, why don't you tell us what we're looking at here? We got two separate applications. Right, the first one is for the uh, state of Henry A. Ledoux Jr. Um, this is part of um, our father's estate. And uh, we did this lot for our subdivision, remember, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I think. And now, this is what we're doing now is this lot two listed here is where Benedini Well Drilling Company, they own the building, they've leased the land for forever and as you had an agreement is basically if we decide or my father at the time or now we as a family sell then we would offer them that lot so we're just 
it has a, it has been treated as a separate lot by the state. It has Act 350 and um, wastewater permitting already. So now we just have to do the the town part of it. So this is just a transaction to go from a lease to a sale. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, it's not actually in the town subdivider. Correct. Oh, okay. Are there any changes being made to this? No, no, nothing. All, all this is the original that's all been on there okay. forever. We just never did, went through the actual um, transaction of, of doing the subdivision. They're adding the line, of course. Right. They're adding the line that would segregate it from the larger parcel. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah just, the, just that check line yeah. there. Yeah, check so, line. Yeah, but I think everything this, else will this, stay this, all the same. Is this an entrance way here? I don't know if No, it's just a strip of grass. It's, it's a strip it's, of grass? Yeah, it's... It's steep, it's, isn't it? No, nope, no, nope. nope, regular lawnmower. Just, okay. So access is directly through Warner Road. Yes, yes, the entrance, the driveway's right I wasn't here. I'm sure what that was there for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just was how the land was. Okay. Um, you're not proposing any changes. No. It's just, you're just basically changing this from right. a slot to a... Yes, taking so we can get that off and, and they can purchase it to keep with their building. Does anybody feel compelled to go through the subdivision standards for this? No. <laughs> I see a negative, I see a negative. <laughs> no. <laughs> Since we're really not making any changes, I don't know that I want to go through lots of mentions, building envelopes and all that. I just, it just seems to be academic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's no construction required in connection with this, so. Um, any questions by board members? Comments nope. by the zoning administrator? None. Interested parties? <laughs> Hearing none. Um, if there are no questions, do you have any further comments, Chip? No. Okay, uh, I'll entertain a motion to close this. So moved. Okay, I'll second. Seconded by Polly. <laughs> motion by Carla to close the one portion of this hearing. And uh, all those in favor of the motion, please say by saying aye. 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 Uh, obviously, no opposed. Uh, uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm thinking, look, I can do some <laughs> No, nope, this is the next one. Yeah. Well, Jim, don't you know Yeah, they all are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this one. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, we're now dealing with application 22076. This is the whole little part of town. Explain to us what you're doing here. Uh, basically the same thing, sort of. Um, so what we're doing is adding this line um, that's shown on the map here uh, from a granite bound that goes down um, to the corner of Joseph Max land. And we're basically turning what's the quarry on the south side of the line into its own parcel and then the other side of the line is uh the mobile home park is exists now and then the other land there so um no i mean potential interest in maybe doing some other things um there but no no plans on doing anything now other than Eventually, we have to have these as two separate pieces. They've always been considered one piece, but if if anything ever wants to be done with them, um, we have to. They have to be separated. Obviously, um, you know the mobile home park has its own rules through the state and and everything. But that's why we decided just to to split them in half now because it was going to have to at some point. Um, and we aren't building anything or adding anything to either. To either parcel right now, we're just making them into two separate ones. Um, so the part, it always, it always sits up in, of course, you've got the boundary there anyway. you got Benjamin Falls Brook. Mm -hmm. 
which was a, a bit of a natural boundary. Um, so, um, gosh, that's too easy. Chip, were there any, because um, it's the manufactured home park and it's state regulated, do they have any? Have you talked to the, the, the Yeah, state we're or? doing, uh, uh, Chase and Chase are doing, we have to get uh, wastewater for that. Even though we have everything, it's all town, sewer, you know, town city right now. But we have to get that. That's in the process of, of, of being done. So we couldn't change anything down here right now without doing that anyway. What are you doing there? I'm not we just have to, now this it's, it's a separate entity yeah. that has to have wastewater. Um, You're not changing ownership at this no, point. No, no. So the ownership still you right, know. right. So right, but at some point, if, we, if that was going to happen, right, then we have, to, that, yeah. we have to have all yeah, that. Yeah. So they're in the process. I assume of, you're moving in that direction. Is what you're doing, or, or making it bigger. Yeah. Okay. But that's so. Did it predate wastewater permitting? That there's no wastewater permit now, or I would assume no. That was what the seventies. Yeah, I'm I'd have to I'd have yeah. to look it up, but but like I said, Chris has been a uh, drink up has been in touch with them, and their first mobile homes were put there in 1971. I believe. Yeah, it's pretty early, so yeah. Because I was living in that apartment yep. at the time. Yep, I heard that story. <laughs> <laughs> but it is serviced by municipal water and municipal. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just going to be an ownership thing, really. Yes. Yeah, so, you expand it. Right. Yeah. So we have to we have to get it. If we're going to do it at some point in time, then I figured now's the time to do it. Get it done, and and then that way we'll have them as two separate two separate sections. Well, that's and, all state permitting. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we don't have to worry about issues of the lines or anything like that because we we'll probably use existing lines. Yes. So yep. Check that you can. Um. Again, nothing's been proposed with either one of these lots per se. Correct. Yeah. No. Nothing be changed. No. Nope. Um, <coughs> so I don't know that we need to go through the criteria on this. Does anybody feel compelled to go through the uh, criteria on this? No, I, I just have a question. Please, Molly. So what would the access to lot one be? Where does that come from? Hersey Road, um, then on to Caledonia Drive, which used to be what Green Mountain Drive before the truck trailers, trailers kept getting stuck up there. Okay. Yeah, so right. coming up from behind the wayside, sort of yep. Dollar General. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. and those are all the town roads. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The um, excuse me, Bob. Um, yes. I'm sorry, would you need anything um, on the criteria for findings? Um, I don't think so. I think I think um, I think probably no impact. Okay. On each of the findings. I, I that's what, what way I would look at it. Just look at them real quickly um, and uh, I mean, it calls for a building, building envelope. Um, so we we could possibly say we need a building envelope here. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it, there's no. It's on. Yeah, it's on. Oh, right there. Well, that's yeah, but the envelope, the building envelope is is not supposed to be the entire parcel. It's supposed to be the part of portion of the parcel. Building envelopes for lots. Two acres in or less than side, but for lots uh, for lots more than two acres, limit to not more than one acre. See, but is that in your building envelope there, Chip? I know that'd be that building 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 envelope would be a lot more than one acre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's I mean, that? Lots of What's that? That's the yes. pond, the yeah. stormwater yeah. pond. Okay. Okay. Stormwater okay. pond. That's that's a, that's a school. Yeah, there's no building on it. No. So I, you know, can we make that a condition that the that they show a building envelope? 
Well, I think if buildings were, are proposed in the future, they're going to have to deal with that through the zoning right. process. Yeah, I think. I think the oh, all subdivisions are for building. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. There has to be something eventually. I mean, if it's not buildable, then we can't subdivide. I talked to either Chris or you. Step about the building envelope. And didn't you say there was a, like a sh sh what scale or shack down there? I've got a uh, uh, well. It's a movable. It's an office trailer. But we don't have a. We don't have a an actual foundation building. I think, I, I'm trying to remember our conversation. I thought you were going to to use that as the building envelope. Yeah, here's got he's got that one. Um, that's the lower one, hmm. I guess. Well, I guess he didn't add that in. We could definitely we could definitely put that in. It's a it's a it's a, it's a little blip. <laughs> that's right, right. Actually, here is where the office trailer is. But yeah, it's, but it's a it's a it's a movable office. That's, I think that's why maybe why he didn't put it in. But we could certainly add that. Says so, yeah. It, 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 I'm not sure this is germane, but if we go by the letter of the law, um, right? It's certainly buildable. We're just not proposing yeah. to build anything. For lots more than two acres of size, a building. Both of these are lots of more than two yeah. acres of size. A building envelope generally must be limited to not more than one acre, um, or not more than two acres of multiple dwellings are proposed. But the reality is, if you expand the, the, the mobile home lot, you're going to have more than two more lots. Mm. There, there are separate regulations from yeah, manufactured right. home parts, yeah. which probably supersede some yeah, of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. But and the, what's what's existing there is is grandfather, and I don't think Chip is saying that they're going to do any expansion as part of what they're right. talking about. Right. Now. We would have to do if we were to which. We've never needed or, or had want for would be to do a, uh, you know, a, a like I said, a foundational building that we're putting something on there. Uh, there's just can I just look at this real quick? Yeah, there's there's no need or, or call. You know, I just don't have any desire for one or need. So we're just not planning on building anything. But like I said, because that's, that's on the quarry lot. Right. Yeah. Right. So to be able to do these. Deal with them separately. We just subdividing the separate. What's your sense, Tom? Do we need to? Uh, I I think it's on the quarry lot. I think it's easy to to put a, a, a an Wait, acre on it or building yeah, on it. Yeah, it's it's easy enough to do. Yep. It's it, it's 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 just an exercise that I've run. It is it absolutely really is. Yep. But, um, it, you do have to ask that question because not all subdivisions are necessarily intended for the purpose of. It, Building buildings. Right. Correct. Uh, subdivisions are intended for a lot of different uses, including agriculture. Uh, uh, that's that's a spells. simple I mean it seems cure. when I read this it seems as though the intent is to identify buildable land. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it said because it says we can adjust these standards and because it, it says one or more building envelopes on each lot, not intended for conservation purposes. So it just seems as though it's really identifying where it's buildable more than saying this is where we're going to build. Well, you limited the size to. Well, well, no, because it says. I, I, yeah, I agree with you, Carly. It doesn't say that this is where it's going to be. It just says that it's available. Well, but I thought it was limited to. Okay. No, well, it says it must be limited to, but then it says the Development Review Board may adjust these standards as deemed appropriate okay. given the yeah. specific characteristics of the subject property and proposed subdivision. So I think, I mean, if you wanted to identify buildable land, that would be. Well, he, he, he has done that That's by, by virtue of yeah. identifying the, the setbacks. Um, and they are they are noted on the both drawings. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't feel I need any more than that. OK. OK. Well, that but I agree with Carla. It's basically to identify what what is buildable <laughs> land, because there might not be immediate plans, but eventually Somewhere down the line, somebody may want to build something. But if if it shows what's buildable, that's fine. Yeah. I would just suggest putting an acre buildable envelope, building envelope on the, on the plan to satisfy the regulatory requirements. Easy enough to do? If, yeah. yeah well, we can find did you somewhere. say that it was basically, is the whole lot buildable? If it is, why can't we just use the setback 
Well, it's, it's buildable in, in, in what's, I've, I've not been on the property in a long time, but it's, it's a quarry. Yep. It's, it's, it's actually a multiple quarry. I guess, you could, I guess you could build in the middle of if you don't want to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do. When the, this, when the blasting's going, it's not a good place to be. I think know. it's not particularly applicable to this, so yeah. however you want to handle it is fine, Tom, with me. Or Bob, whichever. What'd you say? I don't think that that's an applicable criteria in this case, okay. but I understand what you're saying in terms of it's there, and if you want to put something on there, and I'm I, I'm I'm good with that. I'm I'm willing to accept this the way it is. Okay. <clears throat> Polly, John. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Sort of ruling on the go here, but yeah. Um. I, I think I don't think any of the criteria are applicable. Just on the on the manufactured home part that they'll um, apply for and will record a wastewater permit. They need a wastewater. Yes, permit. yes, we're doing that now. Yeah. Yep. Well, they would they would for any either one, but they, again, that would that would be a part of the building permit, not a part of the subdivision. As you pointed out earlier, so but there are state regulations on manufacturing, manufactured home parts that we're not addressing here now. All I'm, he's right. saying he's saying he's going we'll for a yeah. wastewater permit. I'm just saying put a condition that that, that gets recorded with the town. It's easy. Well, the subdivision will be predicated on that. Mm, Why? Well, I, I mean, they've got a permit now. We don't know that. He doesn't know it. He's, it may predate. That's why I asked, is there a, is there a wastewater permit now? And I didn't hear I didn't hear an affirmative answer. I don't, know, I, don't know, I do not know that there is. I don't believe so. But okay. to, right. So to do the so if we did nothing, we'd never have to get one if we don't change anything down there. If we didn't do the subdivision yeah. or whatever, but do it to do the subdivision. Do the we've subdivision. already applied. Yeah, you, yeah, you we've already have, applied. You're going to have to. Yeah. You, to make that transaction a public transaction yep. and record it. Yep. Oh yeah. You're gonna oh, have yeah. to you're gonna have to record with it yeah. a permit. If one doesn't is doesn't exist, you would have to get one right away. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what he's I gotta on. believe one exists, but I can't believe yep. you know. Yeah, I have to I'll 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 check again. I haven't found it yet, but it doesn't mean that there isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's got a public sewer line and everything else, so yep. But he's going through the process. Yep. That's yep. all I'm suggesting. So, yep. Oh yeah. So it, we should make that a condition. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I still got Ipsen going through the road standards or anything else like that. Um, both are currently served by roads. In fact, the block one, if I got the right correct number, yeah, is mm -hmm. already served by town road. Yes. Um, Hershey Road's a town road. What about the other roads? Yes. Yes. They the other roads Caledonia, are Bennington, and Addison are all town. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. I would entertain a motion to close the one portion of this hearing. So moved. Second. Polly was first. John is second. <laughs> I wanted to let Polly get in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Christmas gift from Carl. <laughs> um, all that favor, all those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, and the motion is carried. Thank you, Chip. Thank, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Happy holidays. Oops. Yes. Uh, nothing but easy. What's that? that? I stand behind the camera as long as I can. <laughs> hey, how you been? I don't know that's swimming. How's your daughter doing in there swimming lens up? Good. Yeah, like they all do. That's a bummer. She's just back playing too. Oh, great. Good. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. I don't yeah. know why this is always been like that. I'm always telling her. Something's the event. Yeah. Hey, look. Good. 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 Just this. We got ice on here yet, Tom? Yes. On, on, oh. the, on the small, definitely, and. I think three days until the entire rink, the, boot, the boutique rink is open. Now. My son was asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wants to book during Christmas holidays. 50 on Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh, 50 on Friday. Really? Wow. 
supposed to get. Am I supposed to have like a what are they saying? Blade. A bomb Arctic, cycle? What are they calling yeah, it? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Bomb cycle. Yeah, no, no, I saw that. All I want to know is how did you and I get to the Arctic? Having any snowstorm <laughs> name the name the next four days or bomb cyclones or you guys are only fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Big Mac, whatever they are. It's unbelievable. Oh, I know, it's thank crazy. You. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Just, just, just remind everyone, I did send out the first half of 2023 uh, calendar. Yep. Uh, I, I don't think we'll have the, uh, I think the, the first meeting in January will be canceled. Yay. That'll be good. Um, I lost the paper clip. Well, here it is. Uh, I suggest we go into a little recession. Yep. Uh, we do have some other minutes. Do the minutes or no? Uh, let, well, let's, uh, let's do the minutes first. Uh, good point. And then we'll go into a little recession. Um, we do have the minutes of the meeting of the um, 15th of November. Is that the correct month? It is. Uh, to review and approve. Um, I thought they looked good. I did too. Are you going to make that motion, Polly? I move that we approve the, the minutes of November 15th, 2022. Second. Motion been made and seconded to approve the minutes um, as prepared for 11 15 22. And seconded. Uh, discussion on motion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please see if by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, we've approved the minutes of 11 15 22. The, um, so uh, I think just for clarity of how the um, minutes will read, uh, uh, the findings will read with regard to these uh, applications. Are you going to deliver a session? Or? I would suggest we go into deliver a session. Yeah. Um, well, now? Yeah. I'll yeah. move that we go into deliberative session 8 or 7.47. I'll second. Motion been made and seconded to go into deliberative session. Is there a discussion on that motion? Nope. Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion, please say goodbye by saying aye. 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 I, I got you. 